Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Terrible Terrible Tuesday. I am so happy to see each and every one of your faces. Hopefully you're happy to see mine. Uh, even though mine is kind of frightening and, and scary some days. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too scary today. Uh, anyways, anyways, uh, today's movie is a fantastic one. Oh, first I forgot to say I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk. Whenever it is you're watching this, I hope you're having a great time. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that fun jazz. Uh, you know me. I always got to throw that in there somewhere. I always like to throw it in at the beginning because I, it gives me a little buffer to be able to talk to everybody in a, a, a uh, um, I guess, a more fluid mo movement. Uh, it makes me more calm when I can when I can get, throw a little routine in there and I'm able to... Um, deliver my 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 opinion about about uh the fil whatever film I am am uh uh giving you my my synopsis slash opinions slash reviews slash just uh, a guy sitting in a room talking about movies you know J you know just one of those things uh on to today's movie today's movie I I wanted to do it for, for Fiendish Friday for the best movie of the week. I could not wait, to be quite honest. This movie was so freaking good. It blew my mind on how well it was made. Um, the story was so good. Um, the acting was really good. And, and not to mention, um, it was just so bizarre and weird that... I couldn't take my eyes off of it. It was just such a, a, a fantastic film that, that uh, I luckily found um, for dirt cheap. Uh, I got this uh, last week, actually. Uh, I, uh, they, I think the person that had it did not realize what they had because they only marked it for $3.99. I got it for free on a buy four, get one, uh, buy three, get one free deal. And I came out ahead on this, and and uh, uh, hope that person uh, uh, doesn't realize what they did. <laughs> um, I didn't want to say anything just because you know it's one of the things I hate to be. I don't want to be somebody that goes, "Oh, hey, you can get fifty dollars out of that," or "Hey, you can get eighty, ninety dollars out of that." You know, I don't want to be that guy. Um, so on to today's, on to the film. It's fantastic. This is, uh, it's from 2006. Uh, it's a not rated. And it's running about an hour and 31, 30, 30 minute, one minutes ish. We're like right around there. Um, on the case, it says, um, an hour and 31 minutes. Um, that usually counts uh, credits as well, so I try to say ish, give it around that range, uh, because you know that not everybody watches the credits, and not a, not every film has has a cool little uh, thing after the tra after the uh, uh, credits um, run. Only seems like only uh, Marvel movies do that anymore. Uh, anyways, anyways, now this one stars. I'm going to murder a whole bunch of names just because I don't speak Hungarian. I don't know it at all, and I am very, very sorry if I have any uh, uh, fans that are Hungarian and and can and aren't too offended by me murdering these names. Uh, let's see, we got Kazaba, Gazine, Grigo, Trakowski, Mark Bischoff, Istvan, Grizia, Piroska, Molnar, Gabor, Matt, uh, Giza, Hedegas, G, D, uh, Istvan, Hedegas, yep, Zoltan, Kapani, Adele, Stasgel, uh, Istvan, Zemanek, and Peter Blasco, and this is directed by Georgi Palfi. Yeah, I am so sorry for everybody that that I murdered your names, and it is none other than Taxidermia. Yes, what a great movie. Like I said, I got this for a steal last week. Um, the person that had it obviously did not know what they had. Um, this is highly out of print and rare to come across now. Um, is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. Is this film was worth it. Um, 
uh, all those years of trying to of tracking it down and trying to find it for a decent price paid off, and I finally finally got one. And you can't beat free. Free is the best way to roll when you can get something uh, uh, like this. Mwah! It's beautiful. Um, now, what is this movie about? Well, first let me show you my release. This is the uh, E1 release. It's the only release I know of here in the here stateside. Uh, no, no reversible cover art as usual. Um, there is a little thing in here for for some other films that they've released. It looks like some Twilight esque type stuff and uh, some all, all kinds of different films. It looks like. Um, here we go. As far as special features go. Not a lot on there making a featurette. Um, yeah, that's, that's about all we got on there is a making of featurette. Yep, that's, that's not too bad. This thing won, uh, won Phantasmal Porto Audience Jury Award, the Hungarian Film Week, and the Transylvania Film Festival. It won all three of those. And it should win, it should have won more because it is that good. Uh, this is one of those I see that could have played at can and and possibly did did uh, uh, would have done well just because that's how good this film is. It could have played at Sundance or or uh, uh, any of those other uh, festivals that that do have the uh, the uh, the contest part to it. Uh, this one could have. This one could crush crush a lot of souls under its feet. That's how good this is. So, Matt, you talk all about how good it is. What is it about? It basically spans over three generations of of of, of uh, uh, three men over three generations over two two decades. Um, two decades, yeah, two decades. Uh, not two decades, two centuries, because the the ones in the eighteen hundreds, and then it moves into the nineteen hundreds. So any hoosers, but I forgot where I was going. Never mind. Forget. It's about three about three men over three generations. Uh, one is a kind of a pervert who is constantly looking for new. <coughs> excuse me. New different, new and different things to, to basically get off and and enjoy in a sexual fa uh, fantasy, if if not, um, uh, if he likes it or not, and and everything that that he shows he likes. At at one point, it's weird. You see, even see, he has a thing with fire, and he can at one point shoots fire out of his penis. Very very strange. Uh, um. I've never seen that before, and I doubt I'll ever see that again in film. And if I do, I won't. It won't be as good just because it's already been there. It's been done, you know. One of those kind of things. Um, he his story is very. Um, it's not very long. It's a sh the shorter of the of the three stories. Uh, he is like a military type guy, and he's out in the middle of the of nowhere with. With his with his commander and uh, his his wife, and what happens is he accidentally accidentally he he's banging he's having sex with her, gets her knocked up, and the guy knows automatically whose it is and goes and kills him. Very very crazy cool stuff there. Uh, you fast forward to that that son growing up. He is a uh, world class uh, champion at speed eating, and he is very very good. and And the way they they do it is it's it's super gross. Like they what they do is they they have the trough in front of you. You eat and eat and eat and eat until the time is done, and then you go and you regurgitate it into this other into this catcher, and it'll weigh how much you've eaten. Uh, very very gross, but but it it worked. It was very cool how they how they worked to this movie. I'm not gonna lie, this is just awesome. And then okay, and then you go on to the third third guy, and he is um, which has to do most with the cover here because he is a taxidermist, and and he is very very passionate about his job. He's very um, awkward, very strange young man that uh uh had obviously has lots of troubles because his father was the speed eater and he and now that 
he's grown. His he is. His father wanted him. He thought he would be this big boy, big massive boy that he would train to be a speed eater as well. Um, he ends up being this scrawny, runt of the litter type, just DJ Qualls looking guy. You know, he was very, very small and scrawny to, in stature. Um, DJ Qualls. <laughs> um, so he. <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. Uh, he, he wanted him to be a, a, a speed eater, and it just didn't work out. He didn't even attempt to go into that kind of, of lifestyle or career. Um, he is helping the father grow these massive cats, and these cats are, are like the biggest cats I have ever seen in my life when it comes to domesticated, domesticated cats. And they obviously couldn't have been, really been that big because it just looked too... Too, they looked too so big it was fake, you know, almost like that. Um, very, very weird scene with that on there. Uh, when you see that, the dad eats butter, like, by the stick, and he doesn't even ma uh, take it out of the wrapper because... Because it'll help him get more food down, and it, and it just lube the butter just lubes it up, and it, he can just slide it right in without any kind of troubles. Weird, gross, fun, awesome, yes. <laughs> now let's get on to some ratings here, because I don't want to give any more away about the story. I've given enough away as is. Uh, as far as a technical side goes, this thing is a freaking masterpiece. This is very, very well made. Visually, it is so appetizing and appealing. It's uh, it's almost it's almost orgasmic on how well the, how um, visually this this is how well this is done. It almost reminds me of a Terry Gilliam film on on the on his kind of visuals. It's it's that far out there, you know. Very cool stuff. If you like Terry Gilliam, you'll probably ta like Taxidermia. Um, the only thing is, it's all in Hungarian, so you got to read your subtitles. As long, if you if that if that does bother you, you won't like this. Otherwise, welcome. You'll enjoy this. This is a freaking like I said. This is a piece of mass. This is a masterpiece right here. This is a piece of work. I love it. Um, I'm going to give it a four on that side. Now on the technical side, this is gonna. This is one of those. Like I said, it's so good. Um, I I was entranced from beginning to end. Never got bored. Never got dull. Uh, I was always ready. Always like like uh, um, foaming at the mouth to see what was next you know I was just chomping at that bit to see oh my god what is what is Grigori gonna gonna show me next in taxidermia and so it's gonna get a it's gonna get a five on the uh, entertainment side I would say that it, that it's well 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 worth a nine altogether out of ten this is amazing stuff uh, if you can't afford one at least try to find one that you can stream and watch it's well well worth it put that bad boy down I love you <laughs> all right guys uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here uh, I hope you have a great day whatever you know you're doing the rest of the day uh, I'll see you tomorrow I'm not quite a hundred percent on what I'm gonna review um, I think it might be this documentary that we're we started watching so I don't know we'll see all right, guys.